34 wirehead point and grief on facts every owner should know. Number 1. Outgoing, eager, and quick-witted. The wirehead pointing griffon, or griff for short, is a medium-sized dog. Male griffons usually stand 22 to 24 inches tall and weigh 50 to 70 pounds, while females are a bit smaller, averaging 20 to 22 inches in height and weighing between 35 to 50 pounds. Number 2. Recognizing a griff is a breeze, thanks to their unmistakable appearance. They sport a captivating scruffiness that grabs everyone's attention, mainly owing to their characteristic mustache, beard, and bushy eyebrows. Number 3. People can sometimes confuse wire-haired griffs with German wire-haired pointers due to their similar coloration and wiry hair. However, these are separate breeds easily distinguished by their scruffy appearance. German pointers have a thinner coat and well-groomed mustache and beard, while Griffons have scruffy fur all over their face. Number 4. With a square-shaped head gently domed on top, griffs boast many captivating features. The allure of their eyes in shades of yellow or brown further enhances their charm. Adding to their distinctive appearance, their ears of average size lie flat against the sides of their head, completing their captivating look. Number 5. These dogs are renowned for their distinctive double coat, which serves them pretty well. The dense, water-resistant undercoat offers excellent insulation, while the rough, bristly outer coat provides superb protection against harsh weather. This unique combination enables them to work effectively in various environments. Number 6. Griffs exhibit a wide array of coat colors. The ideal coat is a steel gray hue with chestnut brown or roan markings. According to the AKC, there are a total of seven recognized colors, with brown and gray and chestnut and gray being the standard. However, all brown, all white, or white and orange are seen as less preferable. A black coat, in contrast, can lead to immediate disqualification based on the breed standard. Number 7. According to Stanley Korn's book, The Intelligence of Dogs, the wire-haired pointing griffon holds the 44th position out of 79 dog breed groups, placing them in the average obedience ranking category. Typically, they can grasp new commands after 25 to 40 repetitions, and they tend to obey the initial command 50% of the time or more. Number 8. These dogs have a strong and inclination for water-related activities. When you consider their webbed feet, water-repellent coats, and powerful tails that function like a rudder, it's clear that they excel at swimming too. So don't hesitate to let your griff enjoy a swim in the pool on a hot summer day. Number 9. This breed can generally get along well with other dogs in the house, especially if they have been raised together from puppyhood. However, they might not be the best companions for cats, as many griffs have a short prey drive and are inclined to chase after most cats. Number 10. Griffs can also exhibit shaggy dog syndrome, meaning they tend to be quite messy, carrying debris on their coat and bringing it into the house. When they drink and eat, their bushy beards can absorb water and food, which may later drop on the floor, so they may not be the ideal choice for those who prioritize a tidy living space. Number 11. These guys are affectionately known as Velcro dogs because they have a strong tendency to stick close to their loved ones. Griffs often choose one special person from their door, and they tend to follow them virtually everywhere. If you happen to be that special person, let me tell you something. You won't get much privacy, not even in the bathroom. Number 12. This breed has a powerful prey drive stemming from their hunting heritage. They will intensely pursue small animals like birds and rodents they see as prey, often without paying attention to their surroundings. This is why you gotta keep them on a leash when outdoors to prevent any accidents. Number 13. These dogs are also notorious for their escape artist skills, often bolting from home at the sight of potential prey. That's why you gotta have a secure fence around your yard to prevent your pup from running away and risking harm or getting lost. Number 14. Apart from excelling in hunting, these dogs are exceptional competitors in various dog sports. Their abundant energy, high intelligence, and strong drive make wire-haired griffons stand out in agility, obedience, tracking, and rally competitions. Number 15. While not excessively noisy, these dogs will bark to alert you to any presence or activity in your vicinity, making them excellent watchdogs. Whether it's a mailman approaching your yard or an unsuspecting squirrel in a nearby tree, you can rely on your pup to keep you informed. Number 16. The wire-haired pointing griff is typically a healthy breed, with an average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. But with right care and affection, many of them can enjoy an even longer and more fulfilling life. Number 17. Like any other dog breed, however, griffs are prone to a few health issues. Some health problems to look out for in the breed include hip and elbow dysplasia, progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, ectropion, von Willebrand's disease, and hypothyroidism. Number 18. Deep chested breeds like griffs can be susceptible to bloat, where the stomach fills with gas and painfully twists. If not treated promptly, it can be fatal, so you gotta be cautious about this issue. To prevent bloat, it's best to divide your dog's meals into multiple portions throughout the day and avoid strenuous activities right after eating.
Number 19. These dogs are also prone to steroid-responsive meningitis, arteritis, a neurological disease that results in inflammation of the meninges, leading to severe neck pain. Although the exact cause of this condition is not fully understood, experts believe that genetics play a significant role in its development. Number 20. Some individual griffs may also be susceptible to thrombopathia, a medical condition marked by abnormalities in blood platelets crucial for clotting. Those with thrombopathia may experience challenges in forming stable blood clots, leading to prolonged bleeding or easy bruising. This condition can be hereditary or acquired and is typically diagnosed through blood tests and clinical observations. Number 21. Although not definitively linked to Gregor Mendel's research, the wirehead pointing refunds development coincided with Mendel's groundbreaking genetic work on inheriting one allele from each parent. His research, particularly with pea plants, inspired many Europeans to undertake their own breeding experiments. Number 22. Griffons of ancient roots dating back to ancient Greece, with the earliest mention found in the writings of Greek historian Xenophon around 500 BC. The Gauls, residing in Europe from the 5th century BC to the 5th century AD, also utilized griffons. Despite this historical presence, the exact origin of this type of dog remains unknown. Number 23. The wire-haired pointing griffon is a relatively young breed, credited to E.K. Cortals, a Dutchman residing in France around 1873. Cortals envisioned the perfect versatile gun dog, emphasizing resilience, vigor, and unwavering loyalty to its master. He aimed for a dog that could work closely with its master and be receptive to training, therefore fulfilling the requirements of an exceptional gun dog. Number 24. While there is no definitive evidence regarding the breeds E.K. Cortals used, some speculate that he crossed the other hound with various setters and spaniels. It's also possible that a pointer was included in the mix during the breeding process. Number 25. Cortals initiated his breeding line in 1874 with Moosh, which became the foundation dog, along with five other dogs referred to as Griffons, Janus, Satan, Banco, Hector, and Zunan. He meticulously interbred these dogs until he achieved offspring that closely matched his vision of the ultimate hunting dog. Number 26. The resulting offspring, namely Mustache One, Lena, and Kerida, earned the title of Cortals Patriarchs, because they are the direct ancestors of the Griffon breed. In 1888, the first Griffon club was established as an international organization. Local clubs soon followed, including the Southern German Griffon Club in Bavaria in 1895, the Royal Belgium Griffon Club in Belgium also in 1895, and the French Wirehead Griffon Club in France in 1901. Number 27. By the time of Cortal's death in 1896, the breed had grown in numbers and popularity across Europe. They were popular in the Netherlands and France, where they were renowned as reliable, hardworking, and adaptable hunting dogs. Number 28. The American Kennel Club's first registered Cortal's Griffon, known as the Wirehead Pointing Griffon in the US, was Zolette. She was officially entered into the stud book in 1887. At that time, the Griffon breed was relatively unknown in the US, and Zolette was registered as a Russian setter because they thought she had Russian heritage. Number 29. It wasn't until 1916 that the breed was formally acknowledged as the wirehead pointy griffon in the United States. During that significant year, 16 griffons made their appearance at the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, a highly esteemed event in the country. Since then, the breed has surged in popularity, showcasing its prowess not only as a show dog, but also as the versatile gun dog that Cortals initially envisioned. Number 30. In 1991, the American Wirehead Pointing Griffon Association earned official recognition from the American Kennel Club as the breed's official parent club, marking a significant milestone in the breed's history and development within the United States. Number 31. Today, the wire-haired pointing griffon enjoys a devoted global following and is considered a fairly popular breed. In the American Kennel Club's list of most popular dog breeds in 2022, it held the 57th position out of 199 total registered breeds, based on total registrations nationwide. Number 32. Fairly popular and rare, acquiring a wire-haired griffon pup can be quite expensive. On average, a griff from a reputable breeder can cost anywhere between $800 and $1,500. Pops from exceptional bloodlines can command prices around or even exceeding $3,000. Number 33. Griffs were bred to be incredibly versatile. They have the ability to both point and retrieve on land or in the water, which is a rare combination in hunting dogs. But their versatility doesn't stop there. Their intelligence has made them valuable in various other roles, including tracking, therapy work, and search and rescue operations. Number 34. These handsome dogs have even been owned by royalty. For instance, Prince Rainer III of Monaco had a wirehead pointing griffon named Odin. When the prince passed away, Odin walked alongside the casket during the funeral procession. Alright guys, now which of these griffon facts surprised you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.